<clears throat> oh, hey, how y'all doing? Um, in case y'all wondering, no, that was not water that I was drinking from that jar. But that's not important. Welcome to another Horror Quickies with JW. Today we are doing James L. Edwards' directorial debut. Her name was Krista. Now, as you guys know, if you, if you guys watch my show, you'll know that I did a review on Brimstone Incorporated, which was a horror anthology that James L. Edwards and uh, with Brad Twig directing one segment, and I gave it a glowing review because, quite frankly, in my opinion, it deserved it. So, I was anxious to try out Her Name Was Krista, which was his actual directorial debut. Essentially... Stephen is a socially awkward middle-aged telemarketer and he's desperately alone. Basically, uh, at a suggestion of a co-worker of his, Nick Perkins, uh, he decides to find a prostitute and, uh, you know, have a girlfriend experience where he meets Candy, her real name's Krista, hence the title, and what starts out as a business uh, arrangement kind of ends up being true love. However, what happens when death comes into the picture. One thing that I decided to do when I went into watching this is to pretty much, I wanted to pay attention to the dialogue because I noticed in Brimstone Incorporated, uh, the dialogue, even though some of the stories were crazy, uh, crazy in a good way, um, the dialogue seemed so grounded. And yeah, I... I really liked the way the dialogue flowed between the actors in Her Name Was Krista because it feels like real people talking like actual people. The one thing I hate, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I've been known to embellish dialogues with little nods and little in-jokes when I write, but I think people react better, or should I say, sorry, this is my opinion, I feel like I enjoy a movie better when I can relate to the how, how the people are talking. Maybe that's just a me thing, but I found the, uh, I mean, it's the extraordinary circumstances that Stephen ends up finding himself in, and uh, it's just, I felt like the dialogue was really well done and really grounded, like real people talking, as I stated. Uh, I enjoyed this movie. This This movie has such a just has a blend of different style of st styles of storytelling. You have the romantic part. You have the uh, you have the day to day joking with your uh, coworkers. You have you have people kind of even though the movie's only about mainly Steven and Christy, the other characters they don't feel like filler. Even the asshole boss, they don't feel like filler to me, even if their time's limited. And I really appreciated that. Uh, what I also liked is the contrast between the love story part of the part and the disturbing, which no spoilers here, sorry, disturbing imagery and storyline. I mean, it's it comes together. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, this is only the second film I've seen from James L. Edwards, and I have to be honest, I don't know how he pulled it off. I mean, it's equal parts love story, equal parts uh, insane descent into madness, and <laughs> it's it's just such a well-done film that I was really surprised. Uh, I was really surprised, and I bought this from James L. Edwards, you can go online. Uh, I actually, yes, this is definitely worth my money, and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really enjoyed Cheyenne's performance as uh, Krista. I mean, I felt like everybody just melded so well, and you know, it's understandably in the point because they had worked together in Brimstone Incorporated. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, I recommend that. If you like, horror anthologies I, I do recommend that because like almost all their stories were not only good but had like a little spin that you don't necessarily see in another uh, anthology segments um, this is gonna be a pretty brief one because I'll be honest with you I really try to focus on the positives of a film 
But I do want to point out things that I didn't care for. And I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't find a single thing that I that comes to my mind that bothered me about this film. I actually enjoyed watching it. I actually watched it uh, a few hours ago, and I decided I had to do the show. I'll be honest with you, it's the first time where I've actually reviewed a show this soon after watching it. I usually let it roll around my head, but the truth is, my highest recommendation, I can't think of a single thing. I even like the soundtrack music. It has this sort of like synthetic synth synthesizer type score that I really dig. Uh, yeah, um, pretty much I, I, yeah, I do recommend it highly. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next uh, Horror Quickies.